There's a big change afoot on Bartlett Avenue, especially for residents who are afoot. The town has installed new sidewalks to increase safety and accessibility for everyone who walks there. Roger Colton met with Glenn Clancy, our community development director, who tells us more. The sidewalk and curbing project on Bartlett Avenue was really probably the first representation of uh, implementing a curbing policy. From 2009 through the 2017 construction season, the policy in place for the pavement management program was you fix the street. You address the accessibility issues at corners with ramps, uh, but there was no budget for curbing, there was no budget for sidewalk. Um, and so you would go in, you'd fix a roadway, that would be the extent of the work that you do. Uh, Bartlett Avenue was, was one of the roads where uh, the flaw in that policy, I guess, was exposed in that um, there were no existing grass shoulders for, for a majority of the roadway. And so when you get through fixing the road, repaving that road, you've got a nice asphalt road, but unfortunately you have asphalt shoulders, you have asphalt sidewalk. And so visually as you look down a Bartlett Avenue after reconstruction, you're looking at a sea of asphalt essentially from front lawn to front lawn across that roadway. I couldn't be more pleased. With, uh, with the way that Bartlett Avenue came out. I think we really, we really hit the goal here. Um, brand new sidewalk, concrete sidewalk, which improves pedestrian mobility. We added sidewalk in sections where sidewalk had not previously existed. And so from a mobility and a continuity point of view, um, we've improved that pedestrian experience along Bartlett Avenue. Now we have a shoulder that we can plant trees in if we want, you know, to, to, to really help improve uh, not only the aesthetics of the roadway, but you know, some kind of functionality with tree planting and public shade tree and the benefits that they bring. Uh, the grass shoulder, to me, the, the primary purpose and the most important thing about that grass shoulder is it provides a buffer for, for pedestrians between the sidewalk and the roadway. Um, it's a, visu a visual cue for both the pedestrian and the motorist. Uh, it provides a separation between uh, you know, where both activities are occurring. Another one of the benefits of you know, reestablishing the shoulder, protecting it with a curb treatment, is that you now are forcing vehicles to stay in the roadway. Um, that's a, an, another added benefit because um, you know, as a pedestrian, before you, before you do something like this, as a pedestrian, it's an uncomfortable feel for you, first of all, to be walking along a roadway that doesn't have that buffer. The added challenge is that you know, as you're walking along that road where you now you know, run, the, run the risk of running into a parked vehicle because the vehicle, because there's no constraint, there's nothing to keep that car in the roadway, they'll pull right up on the shoulder and sometimes, in some cases, right up on the sidewalk. Um, so an added benefit of adding the curb treatment is to keep the vehicles in the roadway where they belong when they're parked. It's a success all around as far as I'm concerned.